This week, we're talking about formats for notated and recorded music. We're going to be tackling this topic from a couple of different directions, and depending on your background, parts of this might be more challenging or they might be a bit of a review, um, depending both on your music background and your background in cataloging. So think of this week as a bit of choose your own adventure. If something is old news or way over your head, just try to get the gist. We're going to be talking about these formats, especially notated music, from historical, bibliographical, and philosophical perspectives. One of this week's readings gives us an overview of the history of music printing and its bibliography, that is, the study of the history of books and printing. A set of shorter readings will give us a framework to talk about printed music and recordings in the ways that catalogers and musicologists describe them, and some instructions for handling them in a library setting. And a third reading approaches the question of different printed musical works from the point of view of the editor and asks what an edited score is and what it does. I hope that all of these together will give us ways of thinking about what the musical items in library collections are exactly. I've divided the rest of this week's overview lecture into three parts corresponding to the readings, but as you work through, think about the ways that the technical details of printing history and formats fit into the intellectual role of what printed music is and what the purpose of a given volume is.